should you buy boxing boots or should you wear boxing boots when you jump rope? Hey everyone, this is a question that I received from a viewer recently, so let's address it here in this video. Boxing boots versus running shoes for jumping rope. I've addressed this before, uh, either in a video or in the comment section a few times. So I'm gonna touch on what I said in that video and then I wanna share with you a different reason for why you may want to consider buying boxing boots. So if, if you watch boxers jump rope, oftentimes you will see them wearing running shoes when they jump rope. So why is that? Because they do have a lot of boxing boots. Why would they choose to wear running shoes instead of boxing boots? One reason could be that because boxing boots generally run higher than a running shoe. So a running shoe tends to end around the ankle joint. So one of the advantages of boxing boots is they provide a lot more stability around the lower leg, around the ankle, the Achilles tendon, and the lower leg. So if you're prone to you know, twisting your ankle or rolling your foot, boxing boots could be fantastic for jumping rope because they do provide a lot more stability around your lower leg as opposed to running shoes, which are cut a lot lower. So they provide, boxing boots provide a lot of stability, but that's also one of their disadvantages, you could argue. Because they provide more stability around your lower leg, you may feel a little bit more restricted when you're moving around, when you're jumping rope, because they do provide that a little bit extra kind of comf wrapping stability around your lower leg. So you might not be able to move as freely as you could in say a normal shoe, like this, the Nike Flex, which is cut much lower. A running shoe tends to be cut a lot lower than a boxing boot. These are old style, old school boxing boots, which I love. They, they run a little bit higher on the lower leg. You can also buy ones that are cut a little bit lower, but still they provide more stability around the ankle, the Achilles tendon, than a running shoe because they do, they're cut around here. One key reason for considering boxing boots for jumping rope is not only because they provide stability, and as I said, if you're prone to rolling your foot, experiencing some Achilles tendon pain, ankle pain, they can be really good for that. Another reason, which you may not have heard of, why they can be really good is because the fact that they run a little bit higher on the lower leg. If you're jumping rope, you, I'm sure you will have noticed that you often get the jump rope caught in your shoe or in your lower leg. The rope might hit you around your ankle or around this section. But if you're wearing boxing boots, you have that added protection. So in the clip that you're seeing on the screen right now, this, this happened to me several times today. I was skipping and I got the jump rope caught on my lower leg and I hit myself fairly hard, but I couldn't feel the rope at all hitting my lower leg because I had the protection of the boxing boot. So if, you, if you're jumping rope and you experience pain in your lower leg because the rope is hitting your lower leg when you jump rope, you may want to consider buying a pair of boxing boots because they do give you that protection. I've whipped myself very hard many times in the lower part of the leg, but I didn't feel it whatsoever wearing boxing boots, where as if I'm wearing running shoes, I certainly feel it. So I jump rope in both boxing boots and running shoes. I like them both, but if you're maybe learning how to jump rope and you're finding that you're, you're experiencing a lot of pain in your lower leg because you're hitting yourself with the rope, one, you want to improve your technique and over time you, you will of course get better jumping rope. You will hit yourself less in the less often in the lower part of, your, part of your foot but even with tricks more advanced tricks you probably will hit yourself a lot more so you may want to consider boxing boots for that reason um, and really they're not that expensive these Lonsdale boxing boots I think I only paid about 30 pound I ordered them from England because I was living in Ireland 30 pound I think maybe about 40 45 dollars the ones that I really like I like Lonsdale boxing boots I have no affiliation but I just really like them because I find them extremely comfortable, they're durable, they're not too expensive, and they fit like a glove. I wear a size 12 UK, 13 US in Nike shoes, like these are Nike Flex Contacts. I, in the Lonsdale boxing boots, I wear the exact same size and they feel so nice. I could actually, could actually easily wear these walking around the town, walking around the streets, but I'm, I may look a little bit silly, but they are that comfortable that I could do that. So that's one reason you may want to consider boxing boots. One, I should say they provide stability, it's also a bad thing because they provide more stability than running shoes. So you might not have that nimbleness, the agility, you might feel a little bit restricted in your movement, but it's also an advantage because you're less likely to roll your ankle, your Achilles tendon, you're less likely to experience pain in your lower leg. And an added reason is because if you hit yourself in the lower leg with the jumping rope, as you saw in that clip there, you're not going to experience pain. If I hit myself on the leg, the skin, you're going to feel that bit of, bit of, bit of pain. But with boxing boots, you have that protection, you won't even feel it. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get back to jump rope, and uh, in about an hour, two hour time, I'm gonna be watching the uh, Canelo Alvarez-Caleb plant fight. All right, thanks for watching, everyone.